Tamura Shigaraki, real name Tenko Shimura, is the main antagonist of the My Hero Academia manga and anime series. He is the leader of the League of Villains, making his first major appearance as one of the main antagonists of the USJ arc. He was raised by his master, all for one, to kill All Might, the symbol of peace and ultimately destroy the society he represents. He soon merged his organization and the Meta Liberation Army to form the Paranormal Liberation Front, becoming its Grand Commander and later inheriting the All for One quirk. As a result, All for One's vestige seized control of his body and tried to merge the two of them into a new being. Eventually, Tamura was able to thwart his master's attempt at usurping his body and soul, reclaiming control and declaring himself as Yuku Madraya's archenemy. Tamura is a slim man with pale skin, tinged yellow teeth, and a lot of wrinkles around his eyes. His lips are chapped and uneven, with a small mole on the right underneath, with visible scars on his right eye and under his lip. He has messy, grayish-blue hair of varying lengths, the longest clumps reaching to about his shoulders, left hanging over his face in uneven waves. His eyes and mouth are normally obscured. But when visible, they are usually stretched wide in a rather maniacal manner, their bright red iris is very small. Interestingly, when Tenko was at the age of five, he bore a striking resemblance to Izuka Madraya, with his blue hair originally being dark black, as well as having grey eyes instead of red. He also had dry patches of skin around his eyes, though his lips were shown to be healthy in appearance. After his quirk manifested, his appearance changed giving him a wrinkled face, his hair color to a lighter blue, and his eyes slowly turned to red after the first manifestation. When in his civilian outfit, he always wears plain red sneakers that are similar to Izuku's, along with black pants which expose his ankles, and a matching long-sleeved v-neck shirt. He almost wears a plain black jacket over the top with the hood pulled low over his face to hide his identity and carries one of his disembodied hands in his pocket. His villain costume sports 14 embalmed hands, all positioned so they're holding onto him on different parts of his body. These hands were taken from dead individuals and embalmed by Kudai Garaki, who gave them a zombie-like grayish-blue color and attached to their bases a golden box with two holes drilled into the bottom. Each pair of these hands originally belonged to an individual killed by Tamura during the time his quirk first manifested. The one on his neck is his mother's on his arms, his grandfather's on his forearms, his grandmother's on his wrists, his sister's and the ones on his chest and shoulders are from two unnamed street punks he killed. The hand that holds and hides Tom Mora's face, which he sometimes keeps in his pocket, is his father's left hand, called father by him. The right one was accidentally destroyed by him. So Kudai had to make one to hold on the top of Tamura's head. This hand is connected to his mother's pair through two red cords and later revealed to be from his paternal grandmother, Nana Shimura. Almost all of the hands have been either destroyed, lost, or discarded. Only Nana's hand remains which he uses as his mask. For the rest of the outfit, Tamura just wears his regular black clothes. Bar the jacket, he almost used to wear red tennis shoes before they too were destroyed. After all. For one's arrest, Tamura's hair has grown longer, and he adopts a hooded leather coat that he wears over his costume. He almost so added two additional red cords to connect the hands on his shoulders to the hands on his chest. During his fight with Redistro, Tamura's left hand was crushed, leaving only his ring and pinky fingers. After the revival celebration, Tamura wore a formal suit underneath a red coat with a fur collar similar to overhauls and a temporary leg brace. His right arm and hand were bandaged after having unleashed the destructive true strength of his decay work, and he wore an orange brace, black in the anime, fitted with prosthetic fingers for his left hand. After his quirk awakened, his hair also changed color once again, from light blue to pure white. During the events of My Hero Academia, Heroes, Rising, Tamura wore a dark red trench coat along with the brace for his left hand, although he is depicted with his original clothes and hair color, likely due to the anime staff not having an adaptation of his updated design for him at the time. By the time the heroes raid the Juku General Hospital, Tamura wore a black bodysuit with several mechanical enhancements similar to that of Nines. He almost dons X-less red cape once he finally awakens from his deep slumber, 
Although the top part of his bodysuit was destroyed in his battle with Endeavor and his cape was completely incinerated, Tamora also now possesses small holes in his hands as a result of acquiring the all-for-one quirk. It's also shown he lost his skinny figure in the process and gained a more muscular physique and his left prosthetic fingers were replaced with the biomechanical device. In the anime, the scarring that was caused by Decay during his fight with Redistro remains on his right arm, leaving most of it red and cracked. After the Paranormal Liberation War, his body begins to break apart as a cost of overusing all for one with an incomplete body, resulting in cracks and scars protruding all along his arms and neck stretching down to his stomach. His eyes also become white and faded when All For One is in control. During the fight against Star and Stripe, in which the consciousnesses of Tamura and All For One have begun to fuse into one being, he sports a black formal suit, with sneakers, and a long flowing cloth draped around his neck the suit representing All For One's desire to present himself properly and the latter for Tamora's general uncleanliness. He almost wears a fingerless black brace on his left hand, and his hair begins to grow long and flowing during this event. In the aftermath of the fight, however, most of this outfit has been destroyed and reduced to only his pants, though he later dons a new cape. During the final war, Tamura now possesses the ability to transform his left hand into a grotesque and heavily deformed clump of countless writhing fingers that branch off one another and vary in size, which is a result of the quirk singularity, as his body is now adapting to his vast amount of quirks. During the conflict, he is hit by Katsuki Bakugo's howitzer impact, cluster, scarring the right side of his face. Due to the accumulating damages he received from the heroes while under the effects of erasure and the result of the quirk singularity, Tamura's body morphs itself into an absolute defense form, which is a much larger and bulkier tone, with swollen fingers and hands covering his torso and legs. His left arm is also much larger than before, the tips of his fingers and thumb taking on the appearance of his deceased family's heads. Hands have also grown out from the back of his head and neck, clinging to his face and covering his mouth. When Irasia was undone, Tamura's body exploded undoing the metamorphosis and resulting in his original personality re-emerging from within, molting out of the defense form and reverting his body to his prime state. Tamura Shigaraki is a person with a very twisted, malevolent, and warped personality, and he is considered to be the dark mirror image of Izuka Madraya. He doesn't care for his or almost anyone else's life having no qualms about performing evil deeds like murdering innocent people. Tamura was initially perceived to be a man-child, arrogant, selfish, dependent, and demanding, becoming angry if things didn't go his way and likening reality to some sort of video game. Unlike his mentor, Tamura lacks subtlety, preferring to eliminate problems through force. Much like a child, Tamura seemed unable to cope with his feelings instead lashing out and abusing both others or himself, tearing at his neck when he becomes frustrated. This particular meltdown stems from the abuse he suffered from his father and being alone during his childhood, with all for one claiming that it represented his suppressed urge to kill and destroy. A very irritable person at the beginning of the series, Tamura would learn to be more patient and self-controlled in subsequent appearances. As a consequence of multiple failed plans and all for one's arrest, Tamura is proud of the League of Villains, wanting to prove that his organization has the necessary power to shake society and taking pleasure in mocking those standing in his way. He doesn't tolerate others making light of the League's name and loathes the idea of certain personalities joining him, as was the case with Dobby and Himiko Toga at the beginning, which was made worse by the fact that they were inspired by Stain who had previously refused membership and overshadowed Tamura's nomis in terms of media exposure after the Hazu incident. For similar reasons, he looked down on the Shihasakai for their intentions of ruling the underworld over the League. In the end, however, Tamura can set his pride aside to do whatever is needed to accomplish his goals, adopting Stain's ideology to enlist more members to his cause and forming a deal with the Shihasakai for the development of the quirk-destroying drug. Initially. 
Tamura seemingly caused destruction just for the sake of it and felt directionless about the league's path forward after Stain's arrest. It would take a fateful meeting with Izuku in Amal for him to develop an epiphany and become aware of his true convictions. To crumble society through All Might's death, Tamura always had the desire to kill All Might, but out of an impulsive expression of anarchy towards a society that hurt him and caused his mental instability. After hearing from Izuku, Tamura realized that All Might is what he hates about both Izuku and Stain, wishing to see them, as well as society as a whole, lose their symbol of peace. Following All Might's retirement and during the League of Villains' encounter with the Meta Liberation Army, Tamura's convictions grew from crippling society to destroying it, apparently as a result of an innate sense of pain and suffering caused by his memories. To Tamura's admission, he hates everything that breathes, displaying an extreme form of nihilism. Despite Tamura's general disgust with life, there are a select number of people he holds in high esteem. He has a close relationship with his mentor, all for one, the one person who came to his aid when he found himself alone and lost as a child. Tamura holds a great amount of respect and attachment for all for one, always referring to him as sensei, master and being concerned for his well-being. Incidentally, Tamura happens to carry all for one's family name. Shigaraki, symbolizing a relationship close to father and son. Tamura also had Kiragiri as a trusted confidant and advisor, despite treating him harshly at times. Kiragiri's capture was noted to have made Tamura upset as the latter valued the former's company and abilities. Aside from those two and Kudai who all had a hand in raising him, Tamura initially appears rather distant towards his other allies in the league, however, he has shown to genuinely care about them in his ways. He bonded with Spinner over their shared love of video games, and to the latter's surprise, he cared about them enough to prioritize their comfort once he obtained the necessary finances, and became enraged when Overhaul killed Magna and destroyed Mr. Compress Arm. Beforehand, when Kiragiri labeled the other League members as disposable pawns, Tamura corrects him by saying that they are instead valued allies. Tamura has displayed both faith in the League's capabilities and trust in them to do right by him and their group, as seen when she confided in Himiko and twice before appointing them to aid Overhaul, knowing they would intentionally sabotage the Hasakai from within, even without his orders. Furthermore, when Himiko questioned Tamura on his newfound goal to destroy everything, he revealed that his allies are exceptions saying that he always has room for them and their goals while also telling them to live however they like. This proves that Tamura has developed a true form of care toward his allies, even if he only seldom shows it. As a child, Tenko was shown to be relatively normal, even kind and compassionate. He held a great love for his family and a strong desire to become a hero someday, not unlike Izuku. However, he was also psychologically fragile from the constant abuse he suffered from his hero-hating father, being terrified of his mere presence. Because of the suppressive upbringing and the inaction from the rest of his family, Tenko's mind eventually snapped due to his quirk manifesting and destroying his household. At first, Tamura expressed heavy remorse for accidentally killing his family upon losing control of his newfound quirk. The severed hands that Tamura wears all over himself are the only physical remnants of his dead loved ones, claiming that they make him feel simultaneously sick and calm. Despite his sadness, Tamura experienced a partial relish in his family's demise since he considered them responsible for letting him suffer at his father's will. Tamura's admission, he felt cathartic pleasure while ending Kotaro's life as retaliation for his abusive treatment. During his fight with Redistro, Tamura overcame his past shackles of guilt after getting his memories back and now looks forward to the end of society, using his childhood feelings to further fuel his hatred. Despite his past, however, Tamura holds no hatred towards his family, except his father and paternal grandmother. This is shown when he assured his sister in his visions that he wasn't mad at her for framing him and also assured his mother that he was fine while turning back into child in front of her proving that a part of Tamura still cares about his family. However, he was willing to reject their pleas to continue the pursuit of his evil conquest, showing that he won't let them hinder his goals. After gaining the power of all for one, as well as the enhancements to his body,
Tamura began showing traits similar to that of his master, such as a condescending and mocking demeanor, along with a terror-inducing presence and a desire to steal any quirk that piques his interest, such as one for all or Star and Stripe's new order. Regardless, he still maintains his nonchalant yet menacing attitude during battle and is capable of showing savage anger towards his enemies as seen during his fight against Izuku and Eraser Head, Even after having been incinerated and inches away from death, Tamura refuses to give up and vows to destroy the hero society that has caused him so much suffering, believing that his sheer power and determination would see him through. Despite feeling grateful towards All for One, Tamura outright states to him that he wishes to carve his legacy and become even greater than his master. However, Tamura quickly begins to detest All for One after learning that his true goals were to use his body as a vessel and take it over permanently. Tamura even went as far as to try and attack All for One's vestige and later refused to be his master's pawn whilst trying to regain control of his body. As their time sharing the same consciousness continues, Tamura has shown to have entered a state of an identity crisis, being unsure of whether he's Tamura Shigraki, all for one, or even Tenko Shimura. This is shown to be a result of Tamura and all for one's wills merging, with the elder Shigraki summarizing that they will combine to become a new evil entity altogether, with Tamura's hatred accelerating the process. Despite this, Tamura continues to fight his former master's control unwilling to let this happen. By the time of the final war, Tamura and All for One's minds have nearly melded together as one, creating an entity that features a mix of Tamura's nihilism and desire to destroy everything, and All for One's will to use his power to rule overall. However, deep within the vestige lies another entity, that of Tamura's previous form as a young Tenko. During their first encounter in the vestige world, Izuku revealed that he could hear a crying child deep within Tamura, and later after the Star and Stripe fight, Tenko is shown to be surrounded by an onslaught of hands, thinking about Izuku. During the fight against the heroes, Lemelion unintentionally causes Tenko's personality to emerge after he claims he doesn't have any friends, which Tamura furiously denies. This suggests that a part of Tamura still wants to be saved and that his previous scared and lonely self isn't completely gone. Despite that, Tamura affirms that he and Tenko both have the same goal of reclaiming his body from all for one, that destruction of hero society. Tenko was representative of his origin that he implanted deep within all for one's vestige as a means of winning back control of himself and the all for one quirk. Even if a part of him is still in pain, Tamura sees the rest of the world as no different from the abuse of how he grew up in and will stop at nothing to eradicate everything associated with it. Overall abilities, Tamura is the most powerful villain in the world, surpassing that of even his master all for one, contending with every pro hero in combat thanks to his physical and analytical skills. As the leader of the League of Villains, Tamura has total command over his powerful subordinates. During the USJ incident, Tamura had the medal to briefly take on the formidable pro hero Eraser Head, and successfully use his decay work on the Eraser Hero's right arm. Tamura was even confident that he could take down Izuku, Shido Totoraki, Katsuki, and Dijiro Kirishima, four extremely powerful UA high school students, although at the time, didn't know the full extent of the quartet's abilities. Tamura was capable of battling Gigantomaka for half a month not giving up until he can make the behemoth submit. When he faced Redistro, and his left hand was partially destroyed, Tamura's prowess had been suddenly enhanced to levels beyond his natural parameters. According to Redistro, if Tamura had his newly increased physical parameters during the Kamino incident, he would have easily taken out at least one or two of the pro heroes during that event even without his decay work. After a fierce battle, he was not only able to defeat Redistro to gain control of the latter's army, but also tame Gigantomaka with his accomplishment. Similar to his master, Tamura's aura can instill fear into others, and his mere gaze was enough to paralyze Trumpet's followers, who were under the influence of insight and given orders to eliminate Tamura. This was seen again when he encountered Izuku and Katsuki, with his mere presence being powerful enough to instill hallucinations of death into both teenagers. 
after Kudigaraki conducts body modifications to Tamura, his overall abilities have surpassed all of the pro heroes to the point where his powers are on par with All Might when the latter had one for all. He fought multiple top-level pro heroes and hero students for an extended period, with solely his bodily modifications. Due to his immense power, Tamura eventually grew to be feared worldwide due to being able to kill the immensely powerful star and stripe one of the world's top heroes. Eventually, the world became so afraid of him that nations, including the United States, are already planning to pledge their allegiance to him so that casualties will be kept to a minimum, should Tamura seek them out. As a result of the quirk singularity, his body begins to morph into its ideal form giving Tamura an ultimate absolute defense form which increases his abilities greatly, enabling him to grow fingers endlessly, and transforming his body into a more bulky and heavier tone. His abilities have increased so dramatically that he has far surpassed even All Might and All for One at their prime. In the final war, despite having his quirks nullified by erasure, and fighting on a battlefield specifically designed to counter his abilities, Tamura still proceeded to directly overpower and nearly kill every hero that was at the UA fortress before Izuku finally arrived. His body has adapted itself to not only enhance his speed, strength, and stamina, but he has now the ability to adapt his body to any situation, depending on what fits his desired mental state. His power is at the point where the only ones who can stand against him on equal terms are Izuku and one for all. Enhanced strength, Tamura seems to be stronger than his build suggests, capable of holding Izuku by choking him with only four fingers while his victim displayed visible difficulty in trying to fight back. Enhanced durability, Tamura was able to withstand a point-blank blast from Katsuki's explosion quirk sustaining little to no damage. He was even capable of battling Gigantomaka for a month and a half and withstanding the behemoth's attacks. This trait carries on to the point where he manages to withstand a brutal beating from a powered up redistro. Enhanced speed, Tamura appears to be able to move very quickly, which helps him to touch his targets and affect them with minimal contact. He was able to appear before Tsuasui in an instant and see Izuku after the latter had jumped at a speed that rivaled All Might's, immediately reacting afterward. Only All Might himself was too fast for Tamura to track. Even when he was notably exhausted during the battle against the Meta Liberation Army, he swiftly swung himself atop a wall to avoid a massive onslaught of army members. To their surprise, before disintegrating many of them in an instant. When he battled Redistro, he was able to move so fast with minimal wasted movements, that Redistro was taken by surprise by the increase in speed he had obtained. Keen intellect, Tamura possesses a sharp mind and is analytical, being able to deduce the workings of his opponent's abilities simply by observing them in action. He quickly deduced Eraserhead's weaknesses in combat and took advantage of them. Tamura has a certain skill for unexpected plans, even when his intentions are clear. After battling Gigantomaka for over a month, Tamura realized that the behemoth has gotten much slower compared to the League of Villains first encounter with him and strongly believes that he will soon have Gigantomaka successfully tamed. A further display of Tamura's wit and proficiency for tactical planning is when the League of Villains were threatened by Redistro to either face the Meta Liberation Army in Diego City or be located by the heroes and face arrest. Tamura concocted the plan to go and face Redistro's army, knowing that Gigantomaka would soon awaken from his slumber and locate Tamura instantly. Doing this as to have Gigantomaka plow through the MLA's warriors, which would serve to simultaneously chip away at the behemoth's immense stamina and take out their opposition. This plan to kill two birds with one stone was successful, and thanks to Tamura's outstanding display of power while defeating Redistro by freeing himself of his past and awakening his true power. He was successful in taming Gigantomaka and having Redistro surrender his forces to him resulting in the formation of the Paranormal Liberation Front. As an almost fully merged consciousness of Tamura and all for one's vestige, he possesses all the knowledge, experience, intelligence, and cunning of the original all for one. Indomitable will, stemming from his traumatic past, abuse, and his hatred of the hero society, Tamura has a remarkably strong willpower. When fighting Redistro, 
Despite the villain's superior strength, Tom Mora refused to yield, and this determination allowed him to reawaken the true power of his quirk. This willpower was enough to strike a sense of fear in Redistro, who was single-handedly defeated in battle. Tom Mora's aura remained frightening enough that his gaze petrified all of Trumpet's followers who were empowered by insight to kill him. His willpower and hatred of the current society are so strong that even after having his stabilization process interrupted and left biologically dead, he was able to bring himself back to life through the sheer force of his hatred. Despite being overwhelmed by multiple attacks from multiple heroes such as Endeavor, Katsuki, and Izuku, Tamura continued to push through the pain and continued to surpass his limits multiple times throughout the fight. Even when being charred to a crisp by Endeavor's prominence burn and barely remaining conscious, Tamura refused to flee and attempted to fight against the remaining heroes with whatever he had left. One of the reasons All for One chose Tamura to receive the All for One quirk is that Tamura's will and hatred could potentially be strong enough to force One for All to come to him and override the will of the current user and the spirits housed within. While he failed at the initial attempt, whether his hatred, will was insufficient or due to his body being incomplete is unclear, his will was strong enough to begin to erode one for all and start to draw it to him. The spirits within one for all even state that it would be possible for Tamura to steal one for all if his body and will were strong enough. Even when the vestige of all for one was taking control of the Tamura's body, Tamura's willpower never wavered from anything. Even from his master, his strong willpower was so immense that he hid his core deep within his soul, and without all for one noticing, he has been able to reclaim himself from the inside and out, following the path toward his origin as he continues down his dark crusade to destroy everything that created the abusive house he lived in. Bodily Modification After becoming the leader of the Paranormal Liberation Front and earning the respect of Gigantomaka, Kudai Garaki subjected a willing Tamura to body modification surgery. While the details of this surgery and its effects are unknown, the doctor believes that it will allow Tamura to surpass the powers of one for all. Even before the surgery was finished, a hero as powerful as Mirko was overcome with fear when she sensed him in his surgery capsule to the point that she attempted to smash it and quickly told the other heroes that Tamura could not be allowed to awaken from the surgery no matter what. Indeed, Tamura's physical abilities have increased so exponentially that, upon his awakening, Endeavor goes as far as to compare him to All Might. The modifications allow him to drastically amplify the power of his already awakened to cake work, giving him the ability to disintegrate masses as large as the entire Jakku hospital a portion of the surrounding city and the nearby forest are in mountains in one fell swoop. However, because his modification was interrupted before completion, his new body has some drawbacks and will begin to tear if he overexerts himself, as seen when a large tear appeared on Tamora's chest and arm, and even the super regeneration took a moment to kick in, though this was when he was only 75% complete. Immense Strength After the Surgery Tamura's natural physical strength was augmented by several immense levels, allowing him to move freely in the air with only his arm movements. Endeavor went so far as to compare Tamura's strength to All Might, though Dr. Garaki stated that Tamura's strength is not quite on par with All Might's, since any further remodeling of his body would have overburdened his mind. Even this level of strength was strong enough to easily overpower both Endeavor and Rilke while his quirks were erased as well as Deku with 45% of one for all. Furthermore, he was able to fire a quirk destroying drug and hit eraser head with it from several feet away simply by flicking the bullet with his fingers. Enhanced leap and mobility, thanks to his augmented immense strength, Tamura can use his legs to jump extremely high with enough force to shatter the ground beneath him. He can also easily maneuver himself in the air, even without the aid of his quirks. Immense speed. Tom Mora's speed was significantly enhanced by the surgery, allowing him to outmaneuver Endeavor and move across Jakku City in very little time, as well as outpace several other heroes, and catch up to Deku and Katsuki. When pushing his body past its limits, his speed increases even more, managing to catch Gran Torino, one of the fastest heroes in the world, and impale his chest before he could react. Immense durability. 
the modifications to Tamura's body significantly increased his physical durability, allowing Tamura to withstand Endeavor's strongest attacks. Tamura was also able to take Katsuki's AP machine gun, likening the explosions to mere fireworks. His remarkable durability showed itself when he was able to stay conscious after enduring Katsuki's grenadier explosion and Endeavor's vanishing fist, but more impressively, managed to endure Izuku's Wyoming smash, all while having his quirks erased. He was also strong enough to endure multiple smash attacks from Deku at 100% in repeated succession. Perhaps his most remarkable feat of durability is when he was able to withstand Star and Stripe's state-of-the-art hypersonic intercontinental cruise punch, an attack with enough power to be